Hey everyone, Speed Demon here, and welcome back to part 10 of our Let's Learn Civilization 6 career run. Today's episode, we are going to get some more work done here on some development here. We are going to deal with the war against Tamar. She decided it was time for her to declare war. And I've got an idea that I just uh, thought about here. That what I'm going to be doing is putting down an aircraft carrier. Give us some error score, as we need some... And then what we're also going to do is we are also going to see what we need is an aerodrome. So don't have the option to make one, but because we have that available as something we could work on, um, we'll eventually see if we can get one built in one of our cities nearby and then make an immediate focus on that. So that way, while we get an aerodrome set up, uh, eventually we can buy an air unit and then set that air unit up here and then be able to do some attacks from the north. So that'll give us a nice option to kind of set up with. What we are going to do is we are going to go for a gold route. So we're going to look for a maximum amount of gold. Um, this is probably the best thing we were going to have available. Okay, so gaining sources is now active. First thing we are going to do is we are going to destroy a lot of his production. It's wonderful seeing that we have pretty much zero combat strength. I'm not sure how, but fair enough. So we're going to have to get to work on that. Let's see. First thing we could do is develop a unit. Yeah, our combat strength is terrible, so there's something, either a bug or there's something going on causing that. I really don't quite understand. Of course, you know. Because <laughs> on top of... Uh, um, yeah, that is nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so... <laughs> we're crying out loud. So, on top of major flooding, which destroyed this whole region we get to have the wonderful tornadoes destroy and lose us multiple population right off the bat getting no benefits getting severe damage put to our tiles here with no way for us to really deal with that that's uh this is a very cursed game unfortunately <laughs> Like, truly cursed. I like the idea of getting more battleships. If we can just mass produce as many battleships as possible, let's first prioritize production. And of course, we're getting a blizzard as well, of all things, so. Lovely. Half gold cost. Actually, that's not as bad as it could be, but that's good for us. We're going to bring these units back. Probably a little bit out of range of what would actually do some serious damage to us. Same thing here. They just keep plunking away at them. Get some combat levels, you know, into them. Get some promotions ready, and that'll put us in overall better position. Um, go. We will keep them fortified. You can see he has a couple military units, but he has not really done anything with them. So, what we're first going to do is gain sources, raise the overall level potential of these uh, these units, bring this unit up. The way we're set up there, the mechanized infantry going to keep them fortified. They should be able to survive these impacts, but we just have to keep them alive. And that's a positive deal. That'll bring our gold income back up to a better point. Let's do some more damage here. As we can see, 
Our combat strength is kind of around the same, and hers is continuing to go down. Uh, that is definitely not a deal I like. Definitely not going to work here. Much of her army really is pretty much weakened, and of course, you know, uh, more flooding. Good, and so that did work out. That's excellent for us. What we're going to do is actually pivot at 100 and What is that production cost? What? Is that really that high because of all the flooded tiles? Really? That's ridiculous. Okay, well, I did have an idea that we could do here, but apparently that idea just got thrown out the window. Yeah, but the, no. I actually would rather lose the tiles than waste the time on that production. That's stupid. That's not ever going to work. Let's actually heal them. Doing this. And then we will take... Um, cavalry. Of course, this tile got flooded. It actually does work out for us. So we are going to take um, a couple options here. One of them will go down left tree. I'll bring this unit back. Go up to here. And then we are going to take the bombardment improvement. Go here. Some more damage there. I'm going to kite this unit over just to see if I can get them to attack and go for that. This is a risky one. Um, recruiting Parsons seems like it can actually be good, but it's not going to provide us a lot of benefits. Um, neutralizing Governor could actually be good for us, depending on the Governor. Right works, same kind of scenario. We don't have very many things that we could pick up great works for. You know, maybe some, but it's not very much. Um, the most practical one would probably be License to Kill. We're working on that. Let's actually play into our Navy a bit more. Let's do this. Um, then we could go for this for land stuff. But for the amount of naval cities that Tamar has, Almost all of these cities are very easily in range of us being able to attack. This city is, this city, that city, that city, that city, that city, that city. And we could reduce her down to about three cities. And that's not bad. Then, coupled with a nice air force here, we bring the air force over, then we could finish off a lot of her towns. And of course she has another city back here. Nice, we dropped her combat strength even more. This earth is a water and air, the two essentials on which life depends. Um, could you actually use that? So, for two reasons. Um, the first reason is that we do want to have the oil there. The more that we have, the, the better, because we're going to have quite a few units that are actually going to be using it. So, better for us. Oh, this is excellent. Uh, that is very good for us. That's a unit that's going to be weakened because of the embarkment cost. Between those units. Piece of shadow here. And then we can kill that unit off. I got a promotion that was available to us. And let's get to. Ooh, we have a couple options. I, I like doing some serious damage to the unit here. If we can eliminate the combat strength of this unit, that's going to be pretty massive for us.
bring this unit over. And effectively, we've neutralized much of our army, and she is able to produce more units, but by doing that, we've now increased our combat strength and also given us promotion levels that are going to be valuable for our late game scenario here. Of course, we are losing that production, so we are going to do some potential damage here. Bring this unit back. Do some more damage. They can only run away so far. So, instead... Oh, I know what we can do. Swap that. And get started on that. Good. And we're getting some good attacks coming in from here, so this is uh, gonna, this is definitely gonna happen. Ivana, desirous of youth. obtaining beauty, quickly is, entered into uh, the world. Oh, this is also good. So overall, is really good. You know, we very much made good headway into developing a system that we'll need to kind of be competitive. Um, actually, if we can. Can develop a bit more by getting some builders. We should be in a better position. Put this here. Put this unit. Merge them. working on our military and see the beginning of this episode her army was much larger than ours we had pretty much nothing for an army now we're stronger we have a better position we have the potential for a really solid navy that we could develop we have a couple other things in place we have two bombers ready to eventually upgrade we're going to save this gold so we can upgrade them in a couple turns we will actually get set up here um, so that's good uh, after action reports could actually be a nice benefit for us to consider and then um, this could be something we want to think about production and science in all of our cities could be very powerful so we will go for that Gilan got done with that we are immediately going to focus on that first priority we're about to get some nice upgrades to our setup soon So much plastic in this culture that vinyl leopards never mind the maneuvers. Good, so we are going to keep this on. Um, we're going to take that off. Don't really need this, to be honest. Um, we're not really producing a military like an army, we're really producing more of an air force and a navy, particularly a navy. So, this makes more sense for us. The more upgrades we get, the better. Because we can really take off with our strength here. Also, eventually what we want to consider is putting this on to do some other upgrades. It'll make things a lot cheaper, but we're not going to worry about that for now. We ate the costs of the other stuff that we're working on, so let's not close the menu yet. Let's go Diplomatic. And then we can take Cryptography. Um... I like the concept for that. That can actually do some general, generally beneficial things for us. Um, we're making 11 per turn. Yeah, I could live with that. That we, we have actually kind of taken a lot of what we need. We're in a much better position. We just need to double down on our espionage game. Economically, again, I'd rather us have the amenities taken care of in a lot of our cities, so... We're doing fine there. Promotion to Master Spy. Oh, that's wonderful. It's a lot of damage that just got done instantly to that unit. And 
gonna bring this unit over. Have the mechanized infantry ready, and we're gonna get started on kind of taking these cities. Um, this first city is gonna definitely have some serious loyalty issues, a lot of problem. Uh, even if it goes to a free city, we can we can kind of work our way around that. Just taking cities is a huge bit of progress for us. Also gonna make her try to eventually make peace, and we're going to say very much a nice, healthily no. Since we can't uh, get walls taken down, we're actually going to bring this unit back, just to be safe. Manaus got that done. So, let's see here. We have our upgrade available. Not bad. So we actually have overall like a really nice, well-rounded one. That actually works well for our setup, so we're going to take that. Also, we are two error score away from what we are looking for. Again, not to worry. Um, we know that he was the first to go for... Uh, let's see, Hungary was the first to go for that. So, once we see him launch the Mars colony and then start going for exoplanet expedition, other you know, stuff like that with smart materials and so on, then we know he's our next threat. But uh, we will set up for that. But that's really going to be only after we take care of a lot of this stuff. Our spies are going to kind of carry us to this science victory. Good. So in this position, what we do need to do is bring some of these units back. Oh, that's perfect. So you're about to lose a nice little army here. Just lost a nice chunk of your combat strength. Goodbye to that. Now we can bring this guy in, because, as we will see very shortly here, our military is going to do some insanely nice damage. So let's bring this up here. Sending aid isn't really going to be a strong use of our time. I would rather us go for something different. Jet fighter, same kind of, you know, scenario. They're good units. They're very good units, but they're really more useful for when you're going against a lot of land units or, you know, any type of unit itself. But the jet bombers are really where you get the most gains from when you're trying to work on cities. Just the damage potential you can get out of them are absolutely amazing. So with Soul. We are going to uh, let's go for another trainer. Let's keep working up traders. The more that we have, the better. And then, since we have this available, this is going to be our main city that we develop for all intents and purposes. So let's bring this one unit, and then eventually we will set up a wind farm. And of course, we secured our golden age. So going into, you know, the information era, we are going to have ourselves a golden age, and that's going to be very, very positive for us. Let's repair the monument. Brought us just a little bit of potential uh, loyalty. Okay, now we are going to counter spy, protect our spaceport, which of course is going to, by the promotion that we have available, protect everything. We are now going to take that. And what is this? Priority target? Of course, we are getting ravaged by pretty much every possible thing. In we've had tornadoes, dream, we've had flooding, we we've had volcanic eruptions, we've had blizzards, 
May you uh, proceed with balance. I want to say stealth. at some point we've had a hurricane. We've got a dust storm. Pretty much everything you can think of, really. So, ooh, that's actually pretty cheap. Um, that would put them up to an additional 20 combat strength, so that's huge. Okay, let's see what we have here. Spies take their own time to establish their presence in every civilization. Cities, time to complete all those missions. All offensive missions reduced by 25. That's not bad. This, though. Yo. Okay, that's pretty gnar. Look at the range. Th oh, my God. Okay, I want to see this thing move. Look at it just walking through this storm like it's nothing. All right, Tamara, I hope you realize what kind of hoardance nest you've gotten yourself into. So, here's the little tricky trick that we're going to consider here. We're going to go military. We're going to go here. Gonna make this process a lot cheaper. As you can see now, our setup is going to do just a bit more damage. more of these cities we take, the more of that loyalty pressure will start to fade towards our favor. So these are all very important things for us to consider. It's just what we're going to be keeping our focus towards in order to get this victory. With an aircraft carrier, we could just have them set up here. Okay. Well, everyone. This is a beautiful stopping point for this episode. We have taken an extremely losing position and then immediately set up on this war to start, you know, making this a winning position. We took our first city here in our conquest. We've developed our military here. We're, we've got two jet bombers. We've got, you know, some missile cruiser fleets ready to go. I'm going to get this one upgraded to a missile cruiser and then that'll be better pretty soon. Uh, we could do that next turn, actually, because we'll just move this unit over. We have our first ever giant death robot. Let's just kind of take a second to think. Death mech. There we go. <laughs> death mech. So we've, we've gotten a lot of our, you know, just general recovery going. Um, our yields right now are not great, but they're they're not really competitive with a lot of the AI, but really our military is going to be our saving grace here. So that's a big positive for us. Um, yes, the natural disasters happening to us have pretty much lost us a ton of progress, but again, overall, we can, we can come back here. As long as we can make it towards the setup we want, we'll be okay. I want to thank you all for your time. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll keep the videos coming. Thank you all again, and you all have a good one. Speed Demon out.